uh, another clip from uh, Learn English with Celebrities is Learn English with Emma Watson and Ellen. Emma Watson is the main, main cast in uh, famous series Harry Potter. She is a Hermione. Emma Watson is known as a be as a British British uh smart lady, and um she gets excellent. She has an excellent career career path as well as uh gain much is pure, much high uh, prestige um gains a lot of respect from her education uh on top of that the way emma thinks about life makes me what struck me most is uh, the way she is uh she she's thinking about life like oh you make money not to impress people but because you have a other people to care like your family and your friends and in the clip emma shares with uh shares with ellen about her experience from dating a british guy and an american guy why british guy is very uh, well mannered uh, put on together and at the beginning they always try to ignore each person for at least two months before seriously stepping into a relationship however when she just moved to America to study uh, of a few nights and a guy just came up to her and asked oh I like you how about just go dating uh, it, she like what happened what do you mean I don't understand because she's not used to that kind of culture shock she, that culture in dating and she called it as a culture shock um, so when putting on the two scales, she can feel that um, there are two sides of a situation. Um, British, British guys or American guys have their own uh, ups, and on it, ups and downs. I mean, good and bad sides. But the, the final thing she mentioned about American guys is that they wear flip-flops. And she's not sure that she lies about that. Okay, let's dive into the clip and learn. So you are dating? I assume you're dating. I assume you're dating. Today, you can see that in a way, Ellen brings up this topic. She's making a difference between the concept of dating and being in a relationship. When you are dating, you are just getting to know a person. But when you are in a relationship, you are committed to another person and you are officially a couple. There's a, there's a, dif there's a definitely, definitely, there's definitely, not definitely, definitely. Definitely, there's definitely one or two differences that I've noticed. That I've noticed. Emma doesn't mean she's literally noticed just one or two differences. When we say one or two in this way, we mean a lot. A more common collocation is to know a thing or two about something. She knows a thing or two about international law. This means she's quite experienced and knowledgeable in that field. English guys are like very well put together. And they dress really well and they well mannered. In a basic sense, a well put together person or simply a put together person looks good and dress well. In another word, they take care of their appearance. She's elegant and well put together. More broadly, it can also a variety of good characteristics. So a well put together person is organized, respectful, has good manners, etc. And a person who has good manners is is well mannered. Mark is well dressed and well mannered. I'm sure you like him. You like him. But they are also very restrained. We use this adjective to describe behavior that is calm and controlled. Unlike his fellow competitor, Ronald or Messi has a more restrained and introverted personality. Restrained in this case, Emma is saying that British guys, unlike American guys, are more reserved and are less likely to take risks when trying to convince Emma of going on a date with, with them. In the whole courting situation, courting, a more commonly courtship, courtship is the period of development towards an intimate relationship in which a couple gets to know each other and decide. This is a rather formal and uncommon term. I'm used to being like, I'm used to being like, first of all, ignore for like the first two months of the ritual. And then maybe they acknowledge my presence and then they probably be a little mean to me. 
and their name arrived in America. And then I arrived in, in America and then I and then I and then I arrived in um, in America. And I remember like a few nights into Brown, few nights into Brown, by saying a period of time into something, we mean from the beginning of that event until the end of the given period. Three years into university, she decided she wanted to study something different. Brown University is a private Ivy League university in Providence, Rhode Island. Emma famously studied there after finishing the Harry Potter movies. This guy just being like, to be like, in this case, it is a co 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 colloquial alternative for to say. I was like, what's the best way to learn in English? And the teacher was like, by immersing yourself with things you enjoy, of course. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what just happened? This is an expression we used to show we are in a state of extreme surprise about something that has just happened. This is like, you know, a huge culture shock for me. They are very like open and very straightforward. Open and straightforward, someone is open, expresses their thoughts and feelings in a direct and honest way. Everyone was very friendly and open. Straightforward describes someone who communicates in a clear, honest, and direct manner. She's very straightforward. If she doesn't like you, she'll let you know right away. But they wear flip-flops, so I don't know if I like that. Flip-flop, a type loose rubber sandal. They are really just something else amazing. Something else, if we say that something or someone is something else, we are saying that that thing or person is exceptional or remarkable. I've been to many parts of the world, but talent is just something else. They're all good soccer, but Mark is really something else. Okay, that's it.